Hi listeners, today we'd like to gather all the monsters and all the animals to cheer for a very special BKFK listener. She's been supporting us for a really long time and it happens to be a very special day for her. So let's hear it. A huge BKFK birthday to... Elspeth! And from all of us at BKFK, we hope your birthday is the most magical day. Today we're actually on holiday, but that doesn't mean you don't get your BKFK story. So, today's episode is one of our Patreon exclusive episodes. When you support us on Patreon, you get access to almost 60 extra BKFK episodes and shoutouts and digital activity books and our never ending appreciation. Just go to patreon.com and search for Buy Kids for Kids Storytime. Okay, Ruby, over to you. 12 Windows. Once there was a princess who, high in her castle, had a tower room with 12 windows. The windows faced out in all directions. When she looked out of these windows, she could inspect her entire kingdom. When she looked out the first window, her sight was more keen than that of any other human being. From the second, she could see still better. From the third, even better. And so it went on until the twelfth window, from which she could see everything above and beneath the earth and nothing could be kept secret from her. The princess proclaimed, Only a man who can hide himself from me can be my husband. Any man who tries this and is discovered by me will be unworthy of my hand in marriage. Many would-be suitors tried their luck, but no matter how good they were at hide-and-seek, they were all discovered. I see you. And rejected. Goodbye. One day, three brothers appeared before the princess and told her that they wanted to have a try. The eldest brother thought, I might be safe if I hid in the ground. So he dug a deep hole. Ah. Mm. Climbed down. Ah and covered himself with soil. But alas, the princess instantly saw him through the second window. I see you. And off he went. Goodbye. The second brother went as far as he could walk in a day and climbed a tall mountain and hid in a cave there. But again, the princess spotted him. This time through the fourth window. I see you. And off he went. Goodbye. Then the youngest brother came to the princess and asked her, Please give me a day to think about how I can hide. May I have three chances, please, in case I'm found the first two times? This young man seemed very charming to the princess and he spoke very politely to her. So she said, Very well, I agree to your requests. The next day, the young man pondered for a long time about how he might hide. But he could not decide on anything. I'm hungry, he thought. So he picked up his bow and arrows and walked to the forest to hunt. Soon, he saw a raven. He aimed and was about to release an arrow when the raven cried, Don't shoot, I can help you. The young man lowered his bow and the raven flew off. The young man walked onwards and came to a lake. There, he saw a large fish who had come up to the surface. The young man aimed at the fish but the fish cried, Don't shoot, I can help. The young man allowed the fish to dive and escape. 
Once more, the young man walked onwards. Soon he came upon a fox who was limping. Please draw the thorn out of my foot, the fox cried. The young man did as the fox requested. Then the fox said, Ah, oh, thank goodness, I can walk comfortably again. Now please let me go, I promise I can help you. The young man said nothing, and the fox disappeared into the bushes. Evening was approaching now, so the young man returned to town. The next day, the young man was to hide himself, but no matter how much he puzzled over it, he could not decide what to do. He again went into the forest. He met the raven and said to him, I let you live, so now please tell me where I can hide myself, so that the princess will not find me. The raven thought it over for some time. Soon it croaked. I have it. It fetched an egg out of a nearby nest, cut it in half with its beak and said, Climb inside one of the halves. Then the raven made the egg whole again and sat on it. When the princess went to the first window, she could not see the young man. She also could not see him from the second window or the third. She began to feel uneasy. But from the fourth window, she saw him inside the egg. She ordered the egg to be brought and broken open. And there was the young man. I see you, she said with a wink. You have two more chances. The next day, the young man went to the lake and called to the fish. I allowed you to live. Now please tell me where to hide myself so that the princess may not find me. The fish surfaced, greeted the young man and thought for a while. At last, the fish cried, I have it. I will put you in my stomach. So the fish swallowed the young man and went down to the bottom of the lake. The princess looked through her windows. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. She was getting very nervous. Finally, from the ninth window, she saw the fish. She ordered the fish to be caught and cut open. And there was the young man. I see you, she said to him. You have only one chance left. The next day, the young man walked to the place where he had met the fox. And sure enough, he saw the fox there again. The young man said to the fox, You are known as the cleverest of animals. I helped you. So now please advise me where I can hide myself so that the princess will not find me. Hmm, replied the fox, looking very thoughtful. Soon he cried, I have it. This fox had the ability to jump up do a flip in mid-air and land in the form of a different creature. So the fox jumped, flipped and landed as an animal trainer. He told the young man, Jump and flip like me. And the young man did so and landed as a flea. The animal trainer and the flea went into the town. The animal trainer set up his show in a busy market street. Many people gathered to see his amazing dancing, jumping, singing flea. It even walked on a miniature tightrope. At last, the princess was informed of this great novelty and she also came to see the show. She enjoyed the performance very much and when it was over, she turned to go. At that moment, the animal trainer said to the flea, Here's your chance. Run after her. Climb up her back and hide on the braid of hair on her head. The flea did as instructed. Uh. 
the princess returned to her tower room with the 12 windows. The time had arrived for her final search for the young man. She looked through the first window. She did not see him. She looked through the second, the third, the fourth and so on. Finally, she looked through the twelfth window and she could see everything except the young man. She said to herself, I cannot find him. He has done it. He has done it. I see you, came a voice from near her ear. With that, the flea, which was the young man, jumped out from under the princess's hair, did a flip in mid-air, and landed as himself, a charming young man. The princess was amazed to see him. She joyfully hugged him and said, Hooray! I have finally found a man who is smart enough to be my husband. Hey guys, if you like this episode, please share it with your friends and family. It is one of the best ways to support BKFK Storytime.